Welcome back, everybody. It's time for the finale of WZ Sports Day Austin 2023. This time around, it's going to be soccer, and it's a very different type of soccer from what you've seen in the previous WZ Sports Day competitions. A 3v3 indoor soccer on a very small field, which I have appropriately named Speed Soccer. Aqua Team is knocking on the door to victory right now, and Yellow Team has been mathematically eliminated from the event. Will Aqua be able to seal the deal, or will Purple make a miraculous comeback to force a tiebreaker? Before we find out, let's get into the rules. Here are your rules for Speed Soccer. Overall, things are definitely going to look a bit different at first because we have not seen 3v3 indoor soccer make an appearance in WZ Sports Day before. The main thing to note is that there's no goalie and we tried to make it a rule that you could not stay in the goal circle for an extended period of time. Admittedly, this rule was not enforced very well. We were on an indoor field with walls, however, the ball could still go out of play if it went over a wall into the net. When that happens, it's just a free kick where the ball went out. Handball would also result in a free kick, unless it would happen at the goal, in which case a penalty kick would happen instead. But that's about all you need to know here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So with that being said, it's time to finish off WZ Sports Day Austin awesome 2023 with Speed Soccer. The first game on deck is going to be Aqua Team versus Yellow Team, starting right now. Game one of soccer getting underway here. We've got Aqua Team taking on Yellow Team. Uh, you can see the career stats from regular soccer in the top left and right, however. This is obviously the first time we've seen this that's, uh, particular iteration so we just, like, kick it of here. soccer. Yeah. That is speed soccer. Uh, Larry kicked it out of bounds, so Aqua Team got a free kick in. And we actually see three members of Aqua Team up here. That means they've got open goal. So if Yellow Team can make a break here, Anx smartly decides to get back to goal. Wally will have an open nice. shot there. He'll take it. That'll be a 1-0 lead for Aqua right off the bat. These are going to be fast-paced games. As RCP off the camera did just say, this will, these will be fast-paced games. With this uh, very small field we're uh, featuring here. Have to pass in. Yeah. Pass so yeah. that's what's being discussed right now. Yellow goes Ooh. for the aggressive kick, but uh, Anx with a good block. And Wally will get through. Now I'll pass it over to Doobie. They've got an offensive here. Larry will block it. Doobie will still be going for something. Also, these games will not have music added because um, there's hard because similar to what happened for the Philly soccer video. I opted to not include music just because there's already music in the background because there was music playing in the venue. Oh, King with an opportunity, TK as well, and they're just not quite able to get in. TK crashes into the wall, but it looks like he's alright. Aqua will retain the ball, as Yellow was not able to capitalize on that opportunity. Let's see what Aqua does now on their side. Larry and Doobie both hit the deck, and uh, Wally misses the open shot. Let's see. Oh, he goes for the spin move, and he'll get through Larry's legs, and he'll finish off the goal. That'll be 2-0 for the Aqua team in a hurry here in this game. Uh, definitely not a must-win game for Aqua. However, winning this game would clinch the event for them. If they lose, though, they still would have a chance at winning um, without any tiebreaker if they beat Purple Team. But uh, if they win this game, it's all over. It would be decided. Yellow team already eliminated from the event, so they're just trying to play spoiler here. Wally will go for the pass to Doobie. It's a bit offline. Larry trying to get in there, but he's trying to just flail on oh an air. God. Doobie from the ground tries to finish it off, and Larry's just in a lot of pressure here, and Doobie will finally finish that goal off. 3-0 now, as Larry unfortunately just hit the deck and flopped like a fish. So Aqua off to a pretty commanding lead here already. Uh, you definitely can come back in a hurry. Oh, strong kick off the wall, collects it, but then Wally will get in there. It's here on the ground. Um, Larry with the pass, or Wally with the pass to Doobie. Larry waiting on defense. Oh, Larry will try to go in aggressively. The shoe comes off and he hits the ground again. Do Doobie, though, won't be able to finish it. Tiki will take the ball. Uh, camera off the action a little bit. Tiki can't get quite get it done. And camera's off the action again. We will be, I don't even know what's going on anymore, but somehow out of all that, Wally will get the goal as Larry was struggling after his shoe came off. And Aqua is up 4-0. to zero. Wally doing some good work here in this early game. He's got three goals already. 
King with the pass to Anks. And let's see. Aqua has been on offense a lot in this game. Wow, what is even happening? That looked like it almost was a crazy assist from Doobie on the Wally, but he wasn't able to finish it. And now OTK will accidentally kick it out of bounds there, so that will be Aqua Team's ball. And another thing to note is that these games are going to get pretty taxing in a hurry. So there's not a whole lot of downtime. And we've got two 10 minute halves. Doobie with a strong kick there, but Larry with a nice save. But the ball, they're still in the danger zone. The ball will go downfield. Anks uh, wasn't really ready for it, but it did not, it wasn't on target of the goal, luckily for them. Oh, okay, no. We'll try to do something here. Larry's just completely oh, just oh, out never, of commission. I, I don't know what's happening. Hey! Somehow they didn't score during all that with an open Whoa! goal. But hey! it will not matter as the yellow team will try to get it back but is unsuccessful in doing so. Doobie with the kick and a nice strong goal right in there for their Attaboy, fifth dude. goal of the game Attaboy, dude. of Aqua Teams. And wow, this is hard to commentate. <laughs> I figured it would be, but this is so fast-paced, it's kind of hard to keep up with. So sorry if the commentary is off at times. Larry will kick it up to uh, Wally will get in there. Yeah, five minutes halfway. Five minutes left in the half. TK will get in there, but Doobie's ready, and that ball went flying out of Yellow. bounds off of Doobie. No, 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 it's your ball. So Larry will pass it into King, TK waiting, Anks will get in there and they will instantly reclaim the ball. So one thing I've definitely noticed in this game, oh, I have oh. no idea what just happened, it sounded like something crashed, I don't know, okay, well, back into the action. One thing I've noticed in this game is the Aqua team, comparatively the yellow team, has oh, yeah? much better utilized nice passing. Go King! The uh, teamwork from Yellow has not really been on point in this oh, game, oh, and that's oh why God. they've not been able to make uh, any moves on offense. Wally will just charge oh, oh. through, and now oh, Dilk. the Dilk. ball is in the danger zone, but they have not finished it off yet. Let's see. Wally trying to do some fancy plays off the wall, not going to work. TK will unfortunately pass it right back into Doobie's hands, and this is dangerous now. Larry way out of the goal, and that will cost them. Doobie will get in there for the goal. Attaboy, dude. Attaboy, Six, dude. zero. Doobie and Wally each with three goals in this game, while Anks has been playing some solid defense as well. It's really been a whole team effort. TK tries to get aggressive there. It doesn't pay off. Aqua team now will have another opportunity. Doobie just misses. Wally now with a chance. Passes to Doobie. Larry with the block. Attaboy, they need Lark. to get it out of there ASAP. As uh, the ball has just been on this side of the field way too much. Yell team not doing a good job of getting it out of there. Larry's trying to do just that, but Wally will retain possession. Open goal here, but uh, not quite going to work. Oh, yeah. And Larry will end up getting it out of there. Anks is ready on defense. TK tries to get in there while he left the goal open, but uh, it deflected off of Anks' leg. So Aqua still has the ball after all of that. Let's see what Doobie opts to do here. Goes for the goal, Larry Lark. with the block. However, he's pretty far out, so they could get taken advantage of. The ball is just kind of in the corner now. Hard to see what's going on. TK with a chance now. He's got three Aqua teams oh, around him. Oh, Went for the I goal off the wall, but the camera wasn't on it, so not sure exactly what it looked like. like oh, TK ends up finishing oh, off the goal, regardless though, one way or another. And Yellow is finally on the board here with their first uh, goal, about eight minutes into this game. They've still got some work to do though, down by five. They're discussing the score on field right now. Somebody free my boy Anx. to one in favor of the Aqua team. You gotta let Anx cook. Oh shit! And there's the ball again. OT oh, with a nice block What's there, that? but uh, it's not going to do them much good as they'll be right back in the same situation right away. Let's see what Wally and Doobie opt to do. The pass or shot, I can't really tell, is a bit offline. Yeah, 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 TK. TK's brute. getting Absolute brute. pressured here, and Anks ends up with the ball. And Doobie oh, with a nice goal God. once more. That's 7 to 1 Aqua Team, 7 to 1 Brazil. About a minute and, and a half. We are talking a, a six-goal lead 
for the Aqua team. But one. You got one, one the yellow one, team one, 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 needs one. to respond fast. So he goes for a hard shot, tries to just get it in there right away. Not going to work. Yeah? He's trying to get aggressive, but it's just not much happening. The support isn't there. Let's see what happens here on defense for yellow. The ball just narrowly misses the goal by Wally, but Doobie and Wally both oh! only misses that free shot as well. That's tough, but they will still retain the ball. Pass back to Anx, pass back to Wally. Just misses. That would have been a nice shot. Anx will miss by quite a bit as well, and he misses oh, oh, again. Open oh, pull. Oh, oh. And Wally will have a free one here, I think. Yep, he will. 8-1. to one. In favor of Aqua. Free Anks. Free Anks right now. I mean, quite frankly, that wasn't a very good offensive showing in that particular instance from the Aqua team. Oh. But the defense just wasn't there. Yeah. TK with a strong kick there to get their second goal on the board. 8-2 to two, Aqua. Attaboy, Mbop. 15 seconds. 15. Attaboy, Mbop. The half will be ending very shortly here. Ball's going everywhere. I think that'll be it for the half. Oh, possible buzzer beater. Just going to miss. Wow, that was an open shot and TK wasn't able to come through. So going straight to the second half here. And Aqua team uh, leads 8-2. to two. Bunch of wall bounces. Kicking the wall. I'm not going to commentate, actually. Get pranked. Oh, shit. Larry in the corner. We've seen this quite a bit in this game. King goes aggressive, but just not able to end up with the ball. TK now playing pseudo defense. We've got three yellow team defenders here, and just the ball is just stuck in the corner. No one can get it out. Anks goes for the shot, not going to land, but Doobie ends get up Get that the... shit out of there, King yes, King will sir. get it out, but Wally's waiting on D. Oh, oh, right in the dilt. It's a King. Oh. Goes off the wall. This is uh, looking dangerous for the yellow team here. They need oh, I like to get out. Lot, actually. Oh. Let's see what happens here. Larry with the kick off the wall. Doobie ends up with it though. The ball uh, narrowly just misses oh. there, but Anks will end up finishing it off anyways. Just a ton of shots on goal hey, to from Aqua team in this game, and if that happens, you know it's going to go in eventually. And that's just been the name of the game. Aqua team doing a much better job at putting up a lot of pressure. Which uh, the yellow team has not been able to do comparatively, and also I would say much more solid defense coming out of the Aqua team. You know they're just not letting those balls through, and they're just taking back possessions at every turn. They're just positioning well, and yellow's got their work cut out for them. King tries to pass it to TK, but Wally gets in there with the good defense and a wide open shot. Doobie misses it, but they'll probably finish it off regardless. Yep, Wally will finish that. Ten to two, Aqua. And yeah, that goal was just wide open. And you gotta wonder where Larry was in that particular instance. As the sh pass will be a bit offline. TK will end up with it, but he's got a contest in the corner. It looks like while he has it, that ball almost just trickles in there. There's no one in goal. King goes for the shot. It was deflected, I think. TK trying to make something happen there. Let's see. Everyone's here now, and it's just wide open yeah. goal. Larry playing risky. I didn't even notice him down there. That could have been... Yeah, we've got three on offense once again, and that's a wide open goal. And that will be taken advantage of by Anks, who is waiting for it. 11-2 Aqua. King will pass it in to TK here. Goes for the oh, wow! What a play! Holy shit! That was a of deflection off of the that wall into a goal. Really great setup there by TK for their third goal of the game. Somebody get my ball! Right Definitely now. Definitely one of the plays You're of the game. You're wasting precious game time for the Fumi. Not sure if it will be the play of the game though, with how many uh, points Aqua's been putting on the board. An impressive manner. Doobie will kick it out of bounds, but Yellow will have it anyways. I believe we'll just play from here. Kick comes in no, from, from Larry. From there. Eight, uh -huh. eight lead. Uh-oh. 
And yeah, you know, not being in the, not being in the goal, that's just going to cost them another goal right there. And if if Larry's not going to play defender, they got to switch him out. Get in there, Larry. It looks like they will do just Get that. There, King Lord. will be in the, the goal now. Yeah. And Larry's gonna, yeah. Uh, you can tell he was itching to play. He's been he sprints in there aggressively right away. King on defense. He's already oh. under pressure by two oh. members. Hey. Uh, we'll get it out of there though. But oh, Tika will get a touch on that. Larry looking for an opportunity here. Oh, oh my that God. ball deflected out way out of the court. Six minutes left in this game, and Aqua Team is sitting pretty. They are up nine goals. That don't want to call it over, but it is looking very good for them. And this, like I said previously in yeah. this game. Uh, wait. Uh, I was would out, be a sports day clinching okay. victory if off the team the is to win. So it's a big one for them. Doobie will just claim. Doobie will just casually claim a goal there, as involved. he's been doing all game. Just really good stuff out of him. And now ten goals of lead for the Aqua team. They lead it thirteen to three. Got about five and a half minutes. He'll go for the wall shot. Oh, and he's not able to finish it. Would have been nice, but. Loves the execution yeah. on the ending. Uh -huh. And good opportunity here for the Aqua team. 2v1 situation. King is trying his damnedest. And he will end up getting it out of there. Great effort by him. Maybe with the strong kick, but it's offline. Anks now will look for the finish. King on defense. Let's see. King will uh, win that battle. And Tika's got an opportunity. 1v1. Larry and Wally coming in. The shot's offline. Doobie will get it down to Anks. <laughs> Anx really wants to finish off this goal. Tika will get it down to Larry. Here's a chance for him. Oh, but Doobie with a nice defense. Pass it over to Anx. King. Uh-oh, that's going to be trouble. Yep, Doobie will finish that off. Another nice goal for Doobie and the Aqua team as they now lead it 14-3. to As you can really see that exhaustion setting in. A uh, under, little under five minutes. Several members on the field. Yellow team will try to make this a little closer in the end. Uh-oh, that's trouble. Anks has a chance here. Doobie as well open, and that'll be another goal just like that. That's been the textbook goal here. Just a, the 2v1 scenario. You take the attention with the first person with the ball, and you just pass it over to the other person, and it's curtains, and that will happen right there once more for the Aqua team, up 15-3. to three. Larry's got a chance here, but you gotta respect the effort, but oh, oh my goodness, the shit. deflection right into Wally. That hit him near the chest area, I believe. That could not have oh, felt good. Right. Anx misses that open that shot. Almost gets the second try, but not quite. Your legs are right and there. And he'll get in eventually, one way or another. King not able to get it out of there. And Aqua's up 16-3. Wally a bit shaken up from that hit. You understand why. Larry passes it over to TK. Three minutes left in this game, roughly. Oh, oh yeah. fakes him out, oh, but he will oh, end oh. up getting uh, the ball taken from him regardless in that exchange. Anx tries to go for the pass, I believe, but this time we got two defenders on deck. Let's see if what they can do. King kicks it downfield. If it gets through, that's a goal, and it will. Oh, yeah. Tiko will have the easy open goal there. That will make it 4-16. to 16. <laughs> And they're going to have to do that 12 more times in the last three minutes. Definitely uh, asking for a lot there, without a doubt. He tries to get in there. He knows they have to up the tempo. What? Oh my god, that went in? That is crazy. That Doobie Beckham. sneaks that goal through two defenders, and we're looking at 17-4 to now in favor of the Aqua team. That is an insane shot we just saw there. Two v one scenario. Oh, but King will oh, get out there at the cost yeah. of his shoe, and that's going to be tough. Oh, but he misses the free goal, and somehow Aqua isn't going to score out of that. Shoe. I think they will call time for the shoe, and we will resume play here. About two minutes left on the board. Aqua leading 17-4. Uh, do will kick it out of bounds. Say two minutes. 
thing about this small field, you're seeing a lot of collisions happen. As that will happen. Larry, TK was trying to call open. Larry's not pass it to him. Doobie and Angst will have a chance here. King is just getting put in the spin cycle. Doobie will have an opportunity here. Just misses, and Larry will get it out of there. Wally waiting on D. And 2v1 once again, and they will take advantage. Doobie will finish off the goal. 18 to 4, Aqua. Is they're just really pouring it on. We will have to see later how Purple Team can respond to this strategy by the Aqua Team. As there is just one minute left in this game and 14 goals of difference. So this one is all but over. One minute. And early congratulations to Aqua Team as it looks like they will be t coming away with the win here of WZ Sports Day Austin 2023. Because if they win this game, which it looks like they are very much poised to, um, that will make it mathematically impossible for a purple team to catch them. Let's see if Yellow can make a last stand here. Goes for the hard kick. Oh, that looks like it got Doobie pretty good. Aqua will look for a goal here. They want to get to 20. Let's see what happens in the final stages of this game. Nice block by King. They're still hard on offense right now with some moves but just not able to finish Wally will try for the finish misses the goal TK has a chance here not gonna land Doobie wing on D as well Larry just doing some things and that's gonna be it for the game folks 19 to 4 in favor of Aqua Team and congratulations to Aqua Team because with that win they have mathematically clinched sports day Game two of speed soccer now. Yep. Uh, yellow team's instantly going to find themselves in another match here as they will be taking on the purple team. who are up and raring to go. Yellow on the offensive here as uh, our speed will go forward with the heller and he'll get a goal instantly just like that. Quick start 1 0 for the purple yeah, team. Our right. yeah. um, speed with the pass to Haller, he completes it. Kick downfield, King ready on defense. Haller will not quite get in. Diego tries to get out of there, but Purple's just ready on D. They'll keep it on their side. Joe goes forward, he doesn't land the shot. Misses again, King trying to get out of there. Now Yellow will try to make their offensive. It's not gonna, not gonna happen though. Uh, Ball's kind of caught in midfield. Haller now will have a chance. Wow. Tries to go for the pass to Joe, but he wasn't ready for it. Joe's pass wound up in TK's hands. Now they've got a 2v1 situation. The pass to Larry, but not quite going to finish it. Larry going for something. Wow, two ricochets, three ricochets. TK passes it back to... Wow, that was an insane sequence of events there. Holy shit, Larry uh, with three hits off the wall and then TK passes it to him while he's on the ground and he finishes it off while on the floor. And now we've got a uh, one-to-one -one game, just like that. He gets it out of there nicely and the ball deflects right to Howler. Missed shot by Joe. We are looking at a tie game at one-to-one -one currently. After about two minutes, pass to Larry. RCP is getting contested in the goal. Trying to get it out of there. He will eventually. The ball is blocked by TK, but deflects right back into Joe's hands, and Haller will end up with the goal. 2 1. Yep. 2 to 1, purple team now. Can't really see the ball, but Purple will end up getting it out of there. Oh, oh King probably should have no. charged that. Yeah, Joe's got a chance that. now. Stuck in the corner. They gotta get out of there. Not many Purple teams up here on offense, though. They're all waiting back on D. Just be with the kick. TK deflects it. 
Ball just kind of going back and forth between the uh, defenders. Howler with the deflection and stays in bounds. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Howler turned. Oh. And wow, that is an extremely tough break for the yellow team. Wow. Uh, Howler's kick way up in the air just kind of bounces off King and just lands in. Very lucky for them as they will go up 3-1 to one as a direct result. Larry does not pass it in, which is a part of the rule sets. Tiki misses that shot. Larry just kind of juggling it and it'll end up out of do? bounds. He just kicked it right off the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, being discussed on the field right now. How you have to pass it in to start. Howler with the long bomb <laughs> shot attempt. Went out of bounds, that's I believe. Fine. But he'll just kind of pass it right in. Continue the play. Just be playing some pretty solid defense right now. Howler has, an, has a chance here. One on one with King. Really nicely played there. Self-pass off the wall, yeah. and then finishes it off with a slide in. Great goal by Howler. Because <laughs> I believe he's made all four of their goals currently. And he'll have a chance at another here, and just right through the wickets. Uh, just kicks it through King's legs and I, I gets his fifth goal. Sure. I want to start to this, this game. Oh, goes for the wall pass. Larry wasn't ready for it. But they will have the ball on offense here. Just, oh wow, a couple just narrow misses by TK and Larry there. Missed opportunity for them as Purple will make an offensive now. They've got a 2v1 situation. And free goal. Haller will end up, that sequence has just uh, been deadly against this yellow team in these two games. Just the 2v1 pass in the goal has just been so effective for scoring goals in these games and we have not seen oh my goodness rcp kicks it into wally's face in the sidelines wally just can't catch a break between what the hit he took last game and now that ball is in play Dangerous stuff here for the purple team, but they will end up getting it out of there, luckily. And they've got a 2v1, but oh, Howler goes for the self-pass instead. Not going to quite land it. Larry and TK on the offensive. Not able to ex execute. Oh, but <laughs> it just goes in anyways. Just enough brute force, and it just ends up trickling in there. Goal for TK. And yellow is down just 2-6. to six. A lot. <laughs> Four goals of lead for the purple team in this game. Joe goes on the offense. Wow, he just takes a goal just like that. Really nicely played by Joe there. His first goal of the game. He just kind of pushes forward and shoots it in there. But he can't really handle it. He does end up getting a touch on it, but it will be in the purple team's hands. Goes for the wall kick. Not going to land. And we just sends it to the sky. That will be out of bounds. Purple team's ball here. Joe goes for the hard kick, and now Larry's got a chance here, but there are a couple defenders ready, and they'll get it out of there. Now Howler with the 1v1 situation yet again, and just absolutely styles on him. My goodness, what a play by Howler, really utilizing those walls effectively in this game. I believe that's his seventh goal of the game, so he is just putting on a clinic right now. And that ball's going up in the sky. <laughs> RCP with the header. TK with the header. Joe with the header. And it will end up ending up in King's hands. And they'll tr see what the other team can do Mbappe. here. Howler's going for a play once again. The pass Mbappe. to Joe, and Joe will finish it off. Mbappe, nice the team play there. Hell? And purple team leads it 9-2. to two. Right
Yellow team's offensive will not work there. And now Purple's got all three going forward. And again, just through the legs. King, King needs to tighten that up. That ball will get through the legs once again. And the Purple team takes another goal. They've got a 10-2 lead here. Two minutes. Two minutes left in the half, roughly. As uh, Purple's starting to run away with this one, much like Aqua did in the previous game. Tears with the wall pass or shot. I think that was a handball by Joe, but it looks like the play is just going to continue, and Joe will miss the shot, however. Howard King will block at that time. Larry gets in there without Howard uh, noticing, and, but RCP will have the ball regardless. Wow, what a kick. That was a bullet, but it just barely didn't go in. It hit off the top of the goal, but they will have a chance still here. Joseph with the pass to Howler. King will try to get out of there, but he couldn't get a solid kick on it, so they'll still have it. <laughs> Howler goes for a bit of a style play there. Not going to work. I think he's got a chance here. Howler charging back for D, though. That will be a handball by RCP. So I think that will be a penalty kick, actually. Because, one minute, one minute, one minute. Uh, it was a bull, it was a handball in the goal, which likely would have been a goal had he not. Not gonna land. Uh, RCP boots it over to King. Joseph misses the shot. Howler's got a chance here. King's got work to do on D. Trying to brute force it. Not worked so far. Joseph tries to collect it. Got all three LT members. Joe just kicks TK. <laughs> Larry going for the goal here it's not gonna oh land and purple's back on offense now and there's the classic you know, the 2v1 situation once again and purple leads at 11-2 that'll be about the half they'll see if they can get a buzzer beater goal off here but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen the time is running out and that'll be the half so purple team with a commanding lead here as we now go into the second half. 11 to 2 in purple's favor. And now we've actually got TK on defender. Jesus Christ. For the yellow team, purple team it will be Joe back there right now. We have had a couple swaps here. That's what I mean, where do you guys want to Joseph. Oh god. Winds up for the kick. Power and RCP on offense. Larry will end up with it. He's going in. Wow, what a play. Ooh, nice nice. Uh, uh, hit off the wall and finishes off with a goal. Yeah. So 11 to 3 now in favor of Purple. Power right, with the pass to RCP. RCP's not able to handle it, so King and Larry will have a chance now here. But some good D from Purple prevents it. It's like conservatively 8 3. Oh, the ball that. squeaks through, but not Howler's not able to finish it, and it looks like they'll get off. The camera's pointed really low right now, so I can't really see that much. But King will end up with the ball. Pass up to Larry. Oh, but King is a bit or Larry's a bit ahead of it. That will be out of bounds. So it will be yellow team's ball. Oh my goodness. That's a jump scare. Haller will have the offensive Ooh. chance here. Oh, and oh Damn. my goodness. That, Past so our speed. TK that gets it out of there, dope. though. And oh, Larry just oh, barely shit. misses that goal. Oh, that is Dojo. Nah. Nope. I have no idea what Anx is talking about currently. Haller charging through into the goal. RCP, and there it is. The 2v1 situation yet again. It's just free, folks. And that's Yellow Team has not been able to use that strategy <laughs> in either game, and that's really been yeah, the difference here. Aqua team and purple team both have just been so effective with it. And they've got another chance here. Howard goes for the big boot. Oh, and TK misses with this kick, and purple's got a chance. TK will get out of there, but Joe kicks oh, it right shit. back, and now, they, just like that, it's in their quadrant once again. He will kick it up there. Joe's on D. T will pass it to King. Let's see. RCP gets it, though. And he, there's and TK is still going to be under pressure here. King... We'll have the ball. Haller will instantly take it back. More pressure onto the yellow team. TK with good D there. Larry and King with an opportunity here. Here's a 2v1. But yeah, instead of passing it over to King for the for the strap, uh, Larry will opt to do some movement. It's just not going to pay off. And Purple will end up with the ball. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Larry's still going crazy. That was close. He's playing in a lot of good effort here. Let's see if it pays off for them. 
the ball is back in TK's hands, and he'll go on the offensive now. He'll, he'll try to take advantage here. And I believe King is covering on D. Not able to land it. And now King waiting on defense, and RCP will just get it right through. So 13-3 now for Purple. Howard was a defender right there. <laughs> Pass into Larry. Larry again going hard. Oh, and Joe just boots it into the oh, nether region. That ball will be yellow team's ball. So Larry will start. Uh oh. Situation for Howler here. The ricochet off the wall, and he just kind of brute forces his way through. And that'll be another goal for Howler in this game, because he has gotten quite a few of those. 14-3 in favor of Purple Team here. RCP with a bit of a 1v1 situation. TK oh, kind of gets what? trucked, what? and I believe RCP will self-call a foul there, so I guess it'll be Yellow Team's ball. We didn't really consider fouls, frankly, so... That was just kind of a call on the spot. And purple team on the offensive goes for oh, a kick. That's, that's a handball. That's, okay, okay. Um, they're going to keep playing, though. I mean, it was definitely a handball by TK, but just, uh, no one called it. Larry misses the opportunity. King goes as well. Her and Haller and RCP on the offensive once again. Camera is not going to oh. show the action, but oh, looks. Um, I would guess that TK blocked it. And handball. And it will be yellow team's ball. Thank you, Larry. Purple on the offensive once again, as we've seen many times in this game. And the 2v1 goal yet again. Halfway. Five more minutes. 15 to 3 for the purple team. Just about just under five minutes left in this game. Let's see if Yellow can make this a bit closer as we wind down into the later stages of this game. It's very unlikely they'll come away with a win here at this point, but... Hard to tell what just happened there, but the ball is... Oh, what a nice shot by... I believe that was King's goal. I don't think Larry got a touch on it. Either way, that's another point for the Yellow team. They'll now have four... Are gonna go instantly for something crazy here. He's doing some sh movement. TK blocks it though. Let's see if they can get it out of there. All right, with the pass to RCP. Oh, and the two v one special almost worked it again, but RCP missed that goal. King to Larry. I don't. The camera's at the ground. Howler will be looking for another opportunity here. And oh wow, TK got a touch on no, it and it no, just no, barely no. didn't go in. That was very close. It's still in play, it's still in play. Ball's in play, not sure what's going on here. Just passes it to Howler. Back to RCP, TK will get it out of there nicely. Larry and King with an opportunity, but Joe will smartly just get it out of there. TK with the kick downfield, out. and Joe will kick it out of bounds. Pass it, yeah. He right, passes it into King. Balls kind of careens over into uh, Joseph's hands. Uh, RCP and Haller will be looking for something. Three yellow team members ready on D. Oh, and T is a bit overextended. Haller misses the goal, though. And they will have a chance to get out of there, and they'll do just that. Haller what? will be looking for something. He's got the ball again. Wait, RCP with the kick. Blocked again, though. Now Larry's got a chance. Joe with some solid D, but wow, that's what a it, play it. by Larry. My goodness. That's crazy right there. RCP looks a bit hurt, though, as a result. Larry with a really seven, impressive play there, three. though. Yeah. Two and a half. So, 10 goal, 10 goal lead for Purple Team, and about two and a half minutes left, so. And the clock is winding down here. So it's gonna be tough, and oh, our king just yeah, gets just keep, I fucking fine. trucked with the ball there. It was a handball, but they're just gonna play on. 
<laughs> Let's see what happens here. RCP trying to put the movement on, ends up just booting it out of there. Howler and the RCP with the 2v1, good D. Let's see what happens oh, next. King of Larry, Larry you gonna try it? Oh my oh. god, what a play by Larry again. Wow, the last two goals from Larry have been just crazy. Uh, he looks like he charged, like, full head hit? first into the, uh, okay. the goal there, but he is okay. Yeah. Definitely could have been scary. That went Jesus a little differently. Christ, dude. Ninety seconds. It's pretty crazy, as uh, purple will lead at fifteen to six. Like a minute, basically. Got about a minute and a half left. He gets out of there. The ball's just careening everywhere, and Howard will brute force it in there, and that will oh. be okay. sixteen to six in favor of purple team. Howler instantly intercepts that pass in, so now Purple's on offense once again. Ball just narrowly misses the goal a couple times there, one way or another, and the other team's going to try to get it out of there. And we'll do just that, but that, Joe that's, that's fix that's it. That's debatable. Yeah, not sure if that was in or out, but we're going to play on. 30 seconds. Like he's got a chance here. Oh, TK's coming up on the offense, and now the goal's open. Oh, but it'll pay off as they'll have an open hey. shot there. TK gets a goal, and it's 16 to 7 in favor of Purple. And just about 10 seconds left on the board. Yellow <laughs> tries to go aggressive. Buzzer beater attempt, not gonna land. That'll be the game. Another buzzer beer attempt, also not going to land. 16-7 to 7 for Purple no, Team is no, your final no, score. No. <laughs> and that'll be the end of Yellow Team Sports Day event. That's their last game. It's Purple like Team, on, well, on the other hand, will have to chain another game right 20. coming up against Aqua. <laughs> really Yellow Team finishes off Sports okay. Day with a 1-7 and seven record. I was gonna say Purple like Team 12. improves their record to 4-3. and three. The final game of Sports Day. Here we go. We've got Purple Team against Aqua Team. A fitting matchup for the final game of the Sports Day iteration. These two teams have had absolute bangers of games in every sport so far. Been super close down to the wire in every game. Aqua Team has come away with the win every time. So Purple Team looking to get some last second revenge here. Aqua Team has already won the competition, but Purple still going to give it the, their all here in this game. To try and get another win on the board. As uh, Jesus. Hank's getting pressure here as the ball's going off the wall a couple times. Our and RCP trying to get something going here, but it's not gonna work. Doobie uh, charging forward on offense. Joseph will get it out of there. Doobie's got an opportunity here, but not quite gonna land. Wally trying to get something done here. He's just trying to brute force that in there, but it's not quite gonna work out. Purple team finally gets it out of there as they will try to make something happen on the other side of the of the field here. Doobie's kick didn't have enough juice on it, and now it'll be back in Anx's hands, however. Our speed gets in there for a block, but not able to finish the job as Joseph will kick it out of bounds. So it will be Aqua team's ball. <clears throat> Both these teams had fairly comparable results against Yellow Team, so it's not yet clear how they're going to fare against each other in this match. Our people put a lot of gas onto that one, but it's way off line. Howard tries to get in there to finish the job, but it's not going to work. But time is being called. Everyone's just on the ground now, apparently. Gonna cut ahead here. 
let's see what happens now. We've still got a 0-0 zero zero game, and we're two minutes in, so already we're seeing much more of a defensive display in this game. Joseph's kick goes careening out of the out of the field. Larry will have to go track that down for us. But yeah, still scoreless here. I mean, the other two games were very explosive, very fast, so this is a nice change of pace here. We're seeing both teams put on some good D to start things off. Wally, whoa my god, that almost took Joe's head off. Luckily, not quite. RCP will rev up for a kick. Manx will get a touch on it, though. I was going to try to finish the job. He's got three Aqua Team defenders and no support right now. RCP, though, waiting in the wings. Wally will end up with the ball. Let's see what he can do. He's charging downfield. Joseph god, give me a heart attack. kicks it into the stands once again. Almost and got the Wally special. Another jump scare there. Anx and Doobie will try to progress here on offense. Anx needs to get back on defense, though, make sure he's ready. Let's see what happens here. Doobie trying to put the moves. Oh, and he'll end up doing a somersault. Wally, though, will end up with the ball. RCP kicking at him aggressively. Doobie will end up with it. Goes for the precision shot, not quite going to land it. Joseph will just kind of boot it out of there, but it'll be right back in Aqua Team's hands as Anx now is getting up there on offense. Doobie covering on D. Anx not quite able to finish it, but it's a good effort. Howler now is getting highly contested by Wally on defense. Kick's not going to land. And what's, what's going to happen here is Anx is sticking on offense for now. Wally open, but... Oh, and they get through a 2v1 situation, and there it is, the 2v1 special. Aqua Team gets on the board first. Nice goal by Wally there, Anks with the assist. And that has just been such a tough play for teams to counter against. That 2v1 against the goalie has just been super potent in these three games. RCP with a hard kick, but it's way off line. He walked it up with it again, though. How with the header? Wally with the header. An oh my god, that's scary. That almost looked like an own goal. Anx, though, was able to collect it. Howler will get blocked by Anx, and now Wally's charging downfield. Joe with a nice block there, jumping, and kicks it downfield to RCP, but Anx will end up with it instead. So Aqua keeping this possession alive. Doobie will. Wow, what a great shot. Past two defenders, he just sneaks it in there for a goal, and it's 2-0 Aqua. As now we're starting to see Aqua get into a bit of a groove here after the game was deadlocked at zero for a while. RCP just charges forward, my goodness, ends up hurting himself in the process. We might have to cut ahead here. Yep, we will do a bit of a cut. RCP just going crazy now, but it's not going to pay off just yet. It's, he's just going absolutely berserk. Uh, <laughs> Doobie's trying to contest. Howler will try to get through it. We'll get through, but Anx will be ready for it. Anx gets the ball past Howler. Wally now has a chance, and Doobie ends up finishing it off. A nice offensive there by Wally and Doobie in order to get another goal on the board, it's 3-0, and RCP may have just gassed himself. He went all out in that instance. He looks very fatigued. We will see what's gonna happen here. And yeah, just like that, we're actually gonna see a switch out. RCP will now be in, in goal, and Joseph will go into offense. Pass over to Howler. Pass to Joe. Some nice passing going on. Oh, but Joe loses control a bit. Oh, that ball just almost squeaks in. Howler's not able to finish the job. Everyone's on the floor. And now Doobie... And he kind of loses control of it a little bit, but he will end up getting it over to Wally. Let's see if Wally can finish this goal. And... Oh, Wally well, misses it. Doobie still got it. And wow, what a goal again by Doobie. Jesus, these shots have been unreal by Doobie in these games. And it's 4-0 Aqua. Purple is going to need to respond quick before it, it gets too far away from them. 
If he goes for the wall play, Wally, though, is going to intercept it. He's been playing some good defense this game. Doobie now on offensive. Let's see what happens here. RCP will get it out of there, but another goal by Doobie. Wow. And Doobie, just like that, is kind of taking over this game. And it is 5-0 Aqua. The defense from Aqua has been immaculate, and Doobie is now complementing it with some great offense. Only with the kick off the wall, but RCP will end up with it in an absolute missile into the stands by RCP, so it will end up being Aqua's ball after Larry recovers it. Definitely see a lot of fatigue setting in all over the court. This being the third game, it's been very grueling for these players. Do you have to pass over to Wally? He will put the schmoves on Joe. Let's see if he's able to finish it off. But he's got a lot of contest in this area. And Haller will end up with it. And he's going to try to make something happen. A strong kick, but Anks will deflect it. Out of bounds, though. And Haller quickly just puts it back in. Anks blocks it. I think that was a handball, frankly. And I think that will be the call. Let's see what the move is here. Goes for the wall play, but... Three Aqua Team defenders, that was going to be tough to pull off. The ball deflects off Wally, and Howard's still on the offensive trying to get something done. Joe deflects that, but it's back over to Doobie now. Let's see what he can do. The pass over to Wally. Joe with a nice save there. Wally will take his time to collect himself. Pass back to Anks. This could be dangerous. They've got all three members here on offense. Wow, Doobie just got another goal. I, like, missed that one even. RCP is not happy about it. 6-0, Aqua Team. Quite a display we've seen from the Aqua Team, and especially Doobie. Well, he will get that ball right back. Handball. So that will be a penalty kick. Well, he will line up his shot. Let's see what he opts to do here. Not quite going to land it, just a little off to the left. Purple team will end up with the ball. Haller's going on the offensive. The ball will ricochet way off. Wally's got an opportunity here, but there are three defenders on deck. RCP will deflect it. Doobie now here to help, and Wally, oh, what a save by RCP. And now he's going on offense, too. He will slam the ball in, but it's a miss. Haller goes for the wall shot. Hanks passes it over to Doobie. Joe on D. He'll get it out of there, but now we've got three Aqua Team members on offense here. No one on D. This could be dangerous if it gets over to their side, but it doesn't look like it will. Doobie with the kick over, and now Purple will end up with it. And it, that's time, folks, so that'll be the half. Now we move over to the second half. Purple's still not on the board yet in this game. They've got zero, but Aqua's got six points, and they're sitting pretty. Purple going to try to make something happen right away here. It will end up out of bounds off of Aqua, though, so it will be Purple's ball. Let's see what the move is here. So he'll pass it over to RCP. He's got a lot of pressure on him. And they will get it through. Nice goal by RCP there. We'll get Purple team on the board. And they've got a lot of time to close this gap, so this game is certainly not over yet by any means. Wally and Doobie will pass it between each other a bit, but Howard gets in there. Pass over to Doobie. And he's got a chance, but Joe will boot it out of there. Inks will end up with it, however. Doobie goes with a strong kick, but Joe with another nice block. RCP's kick is strong, but it's offline. Howard will end up with it while he gets in there. Joe just slams it off of the track. That will be Aqua Team's ball. Joe needs to be a little more calm and collected there. There's no need to slam it off the course in that situation. Go for a softer pass this time to Howler. Strong kick, but it's off. Howler's not been quite as potent in this game as he was against Yellow. Tubi, on the other hand, has been just as potent. That's another goal for him. I'll make it 7-1 Aqua Brazil as 
Purple team really needs to respond quickly now. So they've got eight minutes to close a six goal gap. RSP goes for the wall play. Wally will be <coughs> able to intercept it though. But Howler might have a chance here. Oh, but Angst just doesn't like it by him. Some great defense there. As Wally and Doobie are on offense, and there's the 2v1 special. And that will be an 8 to 1 lead for the Aqua team. As Doobie gets yet another goal on the board with the help of Wally. And now this one's starting to look out of hand a little bit. Because Purple Team doesn't have much gas in the tank. You can see it there. Oh, what a shot by RCP. Wow, nice long bomb there. Be yeah, another goal on the board for Purple. As I was saying, though, Purple kind of looking really out of gas here. They're coming off of a game off yellow. Aqua Team had a game of break. That could be playing a factor here, but also just in general. Wow, while he goes aggressive, let's see if he can finish it off. Not quite. Also in general, Aqua Team definitely just has more... Uh, stamina in general, which also could be definitely playing a factor. Wally and Doobie now on offense. Pass over to Doobie. Joseph with a nice save. Doobie tries to finish it. It's not going to work, but Wally's still waiting there. Pass over to Doobie. RCP kicks it out of bounds. Just under seven minutes left in this game. Aqua leads eight to two. Well, almost sneaks that one in there, but not quite. Doobie also almost sneaks that one in there, but not quite. Howler to RCP. Let's see if they can get something. RCP. It's reflected by Inks. And now Aqua Team will end up with the ball. Let's see what happens. Doobie's getting contested by multiple defenders. And Purple will get the ball away, maybe. Doobie ends up with it, though. He just absolutely... Outplays and that now purple will send it downfield and LP Aqua's ball again. Wally looking for something. The kick is high. Now Anks on offense. A nice play there. And the pass over to Wally and Wally finishes it off. Another goal for the Aqua team. Another 2v1 special. It's 9-2. The teamwork from Aqua has been on point all day. And we are seeing that play a huge factor in this game as well. As they lead by seven goals and the time is ticking down. Joe with the soft pass. RCP kicks it around town, but let's see if they can finish it. Doobie and Wally on offense here. Joseph kicks it downfield. Haller's got a chance here, and he will get it through. Nice goal by Haller. That's actually his first goal of the game. He scored 11 in the last game, so the fact it took him... 15 minutes into this game to score his first goal is shocking here as that really just shows you just how strong Aqua Team's defense has been to be able to shut him down. Doobie on the other hand, he's got a lot of goals in this game as well and he's going to look to up that total but however Purple's got something to say about it. Howler will be looking to start something here on offense but Again, the Aqua Team defense is just so on point, and they're not going to let it through. But Howler will get over to RCP somehow while on the ground. And Wally will be looking for something. He will get it through, but Purple will end up with it. Howler's shot is just offline. Oh, here comes RCP charging in. Let's see. A lot of members here. Can't really tell what's going on. RCP will end up with it in the back lines. Doobie will deflect it and end up with the ball. Goes for the long bomb. That was off the wall, I believe. Not sure what just happened. I think that was out of bounds, maybe? So Purple ends up with the ball. Haller boots it out of bounds, though, so it will be Aqua's ball now. So you've got just about four minutes left on the clock. And Aqua team leads by six. So Purple needs to get a goal and get a goal fast. Joe kicks it down to Haller. Let's see if he can hold on to it. He can't. Oh, Doobie and Wally will take it. Wally with the pass over, but the pass is too strong, so it's offline. Joe will get it out of there. Anks is going to get contested by RCP, but he's got more gas in the tank. Anks is going to go on to offense. Pass it to Wally. The pass to Doobie. Almost a full team effort there. Anks has to rush back to defense. He will get there in time. Haller will have a chance here. 
Tries to kick it through, not gonna work. Inks with good D again. Wally with the pass off the wall. Now Doobie's got a 1v1 scenario. Not quite able to land the shot though. That one won't land either, so. And RCP will just slam it off the track again. That will be Aqua Team's ball. This one is getting a bit dire. See what Hawk was able to do here on offense once again. The pass or the shot is offline. It's off the wall. Now Purple's got a chance. They're not able to finish it. Nice pass by RCP. Howler's not able to finish it. Oh, but now he is because Angst fell. That will be a goal for Howler. Four points on the board now for Purple. It was a bit dicey, but he got the job done. Anks. Looks like he's okay. There's about two and a half minutes left. Purple needs to score five goals in two and a half minutes. That is a tall order. And time is ticking down right now. If he gets through, let's see what he can do here. Pass over to Wally. Oh, but uh, Joe with a nice save. Um... RCP and Wally get into a bit of a battle there. Uh, RCP just boots it downfield. That'll be out of bounds yet again. Pass over to Doobie. That will have a chance here. Not going to get through. And Doobie's ready on defense as well now. Ball just bouncing off the wall over and over again. <laughs> Doobie tries to go for the wall play, it's not going to work out, however... RCP goes for the behind little back move. Oh, RCP gets in there for a block. Oh, but he misses the shot. It was wide open, that's a tough one. Wally will get through, and then they've got a 2v1 situation. Oh, and Wally just opts for the straight-up shot. He will get a nice goal there through the wickets. That will be the 10th goal of the game for Aqua Team. And about 45 seconds left in this game. So this one's just about over. No way Purple can possibly score six goals in that time frame. Definitely the least close game we've seen between these two teams throughout the tournament. They've all been really close. This one, however, Aqua has shown a bit of dominance in as they lead it 10 to 4 with about 20 seconds left on the board here in the last game of Sports Day. Let's see if they can get a last second goal here. Oh, what a shot by Doobie, but it's just off. RCP also just going to miss that one. Howler as well. And three seconds left. How will go for the last second buzzer beater off the wall. Not going to land it. And that is your game, folks. Aqua takes it 10-4. to four. And I think my timer was actually a bit off, but it's about over here. Aqua team is going to take this game in 10-4 to four fashion. And finish off Sports Day. After that first loss in Wiffle Bowl, they won their next seven straight to go 7-1 and one in Sports Day. Purple team, on the other hand, they went 1-1 one one in every single sport to finish off with a 4-4 four four record. Really great showing by Aqua Team in this competition. Here's a look at your speed soccer stats. There were only a few categories tracked here, as I think saves would have been a bit too difficult and subjective to track. But here are the leaderboards for those four categories that were tracked in this sport. And then your Player of the Game awards. I thought these were pretty clear cut in my eyes. For Game 1 of Aqua vs Yellow, I went with Doobie. He scored a whopping 10 goals and also had great team play in this game as well. 37% goal percentage is also good. The league average was 25. So really outstanding performance from him there. For Game 2, I went with Haller. He was by far Purple Team's best player in this game. He just absolutely went off with an 11 goal performance and 42% goal percentage. Also got a couple assists in there as well. But just a really dominating performance overall here. And then for Game 3, Purple vs Aqua, I went with Doobie again. 
I don't typically like to double up, but I think Doobie really just was the star of the show here today. Aqua Team was really good as a unit, but Doobie, I think, really stole the show with his play. Scored seven goals in this game out of his team's 10, so did a brunt of the scoring. The game was deadlocked for a while, but I think Doobie really ended up taking it over, and I think he's earned this Player of the Game award as well. So those are your Player of the Game awards for Speed Soccer. So now that Sports Day is concluded, just going to do a quick event overview here. As you can see, this competition started off tight with every team going one and one in the first sport, which was wiffle ball. But what you'll quickly notice here is that every other sport went exactly the same. Aqua team 2 and 0, purple team 1 and 1, and yellow team 0 and 2. So a really impressive showing from Aqua team across a variety of sports. They were able to come out on top in almost every single one. And these are your final standings. Yellow team finishes in last place with a 1 and 7 record. They actually won their first game of the whole event in wiffle ball and then lost the next seven straight. Purple team went four and four overall to get second place and then in first place Aqua team at seven and one they had the inverse experience of yellow team they lost their first game to yellow team in wiffle ball and then won their next seven games straight in this competition. Some of those games in very close fashion too so they really just clutched out in the big moments and they earned this win. So that's going to do it for this iteration of WZ Sports Day, everyone. It was a great event. Uh, unfortunately, not too close this time around. The gaps in record between each team ended up being pretty substantial at the end. So no super hype conclusion. The result was decided pretty early here. But nevertheless, it was still a very fun competition that went down smoothly. So with that being said, going to extend one more congratulations to your winners of WZ Sports Day Austin 2023. That's going to be the Aqua Team featuring Doobie, Wally, and Anx. As well as a special shout out to Purple Team finishing in second place featuring Joseph, Haller, and RCP. As well as Yellow Team who ended up finishing in third place featuring Larry, TK, and King. But that's going to do it for WZ Sports Day, Austin 2023. As always, leave a like or a comment down below to show your support, and hopefully we will be seeing you once again this summer for another iteration of WZ Sports Day, where we will try to make it the best one yet. Thanks for watching, everybody.